Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you a piece of code written by R to calculate the twin primes. By definition, a twin prime is a pair of prime numbers with a difference of two. For example, three and five are twin primes, five and seven are twin primes. However, seven and eleven are not because the difference between them is four, even though both of them are prime numbers. So let's look at the code. And uh, firstly, let's write. By clicking source, we load the file into R and call the main function, which is get twin prime. Say, for example, we want to get the twin primes within 100, and we have eight pairs. The first pair is 3 and 5, and the last pair is 71 and 73. And we can even make it bigger, say 1000. Now we have 35 pairs, and the last pair is 881 and 883. To make it clear, let's go through the code line by line. And uh, let me make a breakpoint here, and call the main function again with a parameter 100. So the first line of the main function is to create a vector of size n here, the size is 100. And the next line is to go through each element of the, the, the data and to tell if it's a prime by using, thi using this function, is prime. I borrowed the code from the Stack Overflow. How it works is that it will it will tell if the the number n is a prime if is if either is two or is not divisible by any numbers between two and the, the square root of n. So it will return a boolean true or false. Here we use s a s apply, which is our built-in function instead of the for loop, because vectorization is is very convenient in R. And handy. The next line is to get all the prime numbers by indexing the data. So if we look at the prime numbers in the console, we can see now we have 26 prime numbers. And the next line of the code is to get the second prime number in each pair of the twin prime. Firstly, we call the diff function to get the difference between each neighboring pair of the prime numbers and compare with two to, to get all the twin primes. And, and please be noted here that when we index the prime numbers, we start from two instead of one. The reason is because the diff function will make the, the size of the, all, all primes one smaller than original. So that's why we start from two. So let's have a look. Second prime. Now we have the, the, the prime numbers, which is at the second position. By taking away two, we will get the first prime. So second prime minus two will get the first prime. And then we combine them together to get the twin primes. And here the result as we saw before. That's it. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below the video. Thank you for watching.